An anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, is a guided missile primarily designed to hit and destroy heavily armored military vehicles. ATGMs range in size from shoulder-launched weapons, which can be transported by a single soldier, to larger tripod-mounted weapons, which require a squad or team to transport and fire, to vehicle and aircraft-mounted missile systems. An ATGM can also be used against fortified positions or low-speed aircraft. The first ATGMs were developed in the late 1950s and early 1960s. They employed manual guidance systems requiring the operator to steer the missile to the target by wire with a joystick or similar control device. Top 10 Anti-Tank Guided Missile, ATGM Number 10 Milan ER The Milan E.R is a new development of the combat-proven Milan Anti-Tank Guided Missile, that is in service in service for nearly 50 years and was adopted by more than 40 countries. This weapon uses a new launcher and more powerful missile with longer range. Development of this weapon began in 2005. The missile was ready for mass production in 2011. The Milan ER has been selected by at least three existing operators of the Milan system. Interestingly the French army rejected the Milan ER and went for a more advanced MMP anti-tank guided missile. The Milan ER uses a new firing post with integral thermal imager. The new launcher is compatible with previous variants of the Milan missiles, including Milan 2 and Milan 3, and remains a wire-guided system. However judging by modern standards such guidance method is considered outdated. The new missile has a tandem SA-shaped charge warhead. It penetrates 1000mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor era. Such penetration is sufficient to destroy even the most heavily armored main battle tanks. This missile is capable of penetrating more than 2m of reinforced concrete. Hence it can be also used against troops in buildings bunkers and field fortifications number nine to two missile the to two is a heavy anti-tank missile it is used by the U.S. Army since 1983 and proved to be a very effective weapon. This anti-tank weapon was exported to a number of countries. The TO-2 remains a very capable anti-tank system despite the fact that this weapon is nearly 40 years old. In the basic infantry form the TO launcher is mounted on a portable tripod. The missile is carried in a sealed container. It is clipped to the launcher before the launch. The TO-2 system is serviced by a crew of three soldiers, including commander, gunner, and assistance gunner. The launcher can be disassembled and transported by the crew. In the US Army the TO-2 launchers are typically used by separate anti-tank companies for heavy anti-armor work. The TO-2 missile is available in several versions and is produced in wireless and wire-guided forms. The wireless missiles require no special alterations to the launcher. The BGM-71E missile has a tandem warhead and was specially designed to defeat tanks with explosive reactive armor. It has a range of 3.75 km and penetrates 900 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. The BGM-71F is a top attack missile. It explodes above the tank to penetrate its thin top armor. It has a maximum range of 4.2 km. The BGM-71H is a bunker-busting missile. It is used against buildings or fortified structures. This missile has a range of 3.75 kilometers. There are some other anti-tank missiles for this weapon. The TO-2 launcher is compatible with all previous TO missiles. This weapon has got a thermal imaging site and can be used at night. Number 8. Cornetem. The Cornet, Cornet, 
is a Russian anti-tank guided missile. It was first introduced in 1994. Western reporting name of this weapon is at 14 or Spriggan. Its fearsome reputation is derived from its extreme range that's far beyond most current anti-tank missiles. The FGM-148 Javelin, for example, can only deliver its lethal top attack warhead 2.5 kilometers away while the original Kornati developed. By the Instrument Design Bureau, KBP, had a maximum range of 5.5 kilometers. This weapon has been exported to a number of countries and was used in combat. The Kornitz tandem-shaped charge warhead is just as intimidating for its size. With a 152 mm diameter it is one of the largest and most powerful anti-tank guided missiles ever built. This feature is meant to defeat the threat posed by explosive reactive armor on modern tanks. It penetrates 1000mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. Recently a new missile with thermobaric warhead was developed for this weapon. Production was planned to begin in 2019. It has a range of 5.5 kilometers and is effective against buildings, bunkers, field fortify cations and entrenched troops. However despite significantly longer range the Russian Cornet is not that advanced in terms of guidance as other modern anti-tank guided missiles. Number 7. Shershan. The Shershan base version consists of a tripod, a universal combat module, an anti-tank guided missile, a guidance device, PNS, and remote control, which allows the control of the unit from up to 100M, with a wire channel, and up to 300M, with radio. The two-man cruise combat task is to assemble Shershan, find the target, and launch. The pre-launch procedures, which include missile, installation, PNS connection, and unit switch on, take less than two minutes to complete. Once the missile is fired, the operator controls the Shershan and corrects the aim, if necessary, using the joystick on the remote control. Shershan is designed to destroy armored vehicles equipped with explosive reactive armor, ERA, and can attack stationary and moving targets. Shershan also has an automated fire and forget targeting mode that doesn't require manual tracking of a target. All modern armored targets can be destroyed, irrespective of where the missile hits them, using the two, Cal 130 mm, and two, Cal 152 mm, guided missiles. The two missile, can be used with Shershan Q and unified with ATGM Barrier B, extends the maximum range to 7,500M. The ability to use different types of missiles without any system modification, in addition to a wide spectrum of targets makes it possible to consider this system not only as an ATGM but as a mobile defense assault fire system for infantry support up to battalion level. Number 6. Mappets. The Mappets is a man-portable anti-tank guided missile system, designed for use by infantry, vehicles, and helicopters. The name is short for man-portable anti-tank system, and Mappets is also Hebrew otomotopi for an explosion. Known operators of the Mappets include Israel, Chile, Ecuador, Estonia, and Venezuela. Little of the origins of the Mappets have been published. This weapon is clearly a derivative of the US-made BGM-71 tow missile, but no assistance from the US military or defense industry in the development of the Mappets has ever been mentioned. It was first unveiled to the public in 1984, and apparently entered service with the Israel Defense Forces in 1985. Though it is easily confused with a BGM-71 tow at first glance, the Mappets has a different guidance. It is a laser-guided missile. The original warhead was capable of penetrating 800 mm of steel armor, which was adequate to defeat any tank in service in the mid-1980s. Examples made from the early 1990s onward were rearmed with a tandem-shaped charge warhead, capable of defeating 1-200 mm of steel armor after explosive reactive armor, enough penetration to defeat almost any tank in service today. This missile has a range of 4 km. Number 5. 
the Hongjian 12, HJ12. The HJ-12 is a Chinese copy of the US Javelin. It was first publicly revealed in 2014. This Chinese missile has similar specifications and capabilities as the baseline FGM-148A Javelin. It is being proposed for export customers as a less expensive alternative to the Javelin. It has a range of 2500M and penetrates 800mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. This missile uses a similar infrared imaging guidance method as the javelin and attacks its targets from the top actually there are more chinese advanced guided missiles similar to the u.s javelin that are being offered for export these include gam 100 and ts-01 anti-tank guided missiles though these are broadly similar to the hj-12 comparable with the us javelin missile the hj-12 is equipped with advanced Focal Plane Array Infrared Guidance System with Lock-On Before Launch and Fire and Forget Systems, East.com reported. When performing a top attack, the HJ-12 can destroy any type of main battle tank in the world, as the missile can penetrate homogeneous steel armor as thick as 1,100 mm hected by explosive reaction armor, EastDay.com quoted a report by China Central Television as saying. The HJ-12 also offers strong anti-jamming capabilities with more types of guidance systems, Wei Dongxiu, a Beijing-based military expert, told the Global Times. In addition to tanks, J-12 can launch precision strikes on hostile bunkers, fortifications, and buildings, Wei said. Number 4. Javelin. The FGM-148 Javelin is a US-made man-portable fire-and-forget anti-tank missile. It was fielded in the mid-1990s to replace the M-47 Dragon. Deliveries to the US Army and US Marine Corps commenced in 1996. The Javelin has been exported to about 20 countries including Australia, France, and United Kingdom. Currently the FGM-148 Javelin is one of the most advanced man-portable anti-tank guide missile system in the world. It can destroy any current main battle tank. It can also target low-flying helicopters. Only some existing anti-tank missiles, such as Israeli Spike can compare with the Javelin. The Javelin is a man-portable fire-and-forget type weapon. It is shoulder-fired but can also be installed on the tripod or tracked and wheeled armor vehicles. The Javelin missile system is operated by a crew of two. The missile has an infrared imaging guidance system. It locks on the target before launch. During flight it guides automatically. During that time the operator can detach an empty tube and from the CLU and attach another tube with missile. It takes about 15 seconds. Alternatively the crew can leave a firing position. There are two modes of attack, top attack and direct attack. The top attack flight mode is used to engage tanks and other armored vehicles. After the launch the missile climbs upward and then dives towards the target. This method is very suitable to destroy main battle tanks because most of them have only a minimum level of armor protection in the upper part of the turret. In direct attack mode the missile flies directly to the target. This mode is used to engage buildings, bunkers, weapon crews, and concentrations of enemy troops. In the direct attack mode the javelin can also engage low-flying helicopters. The missile has an 8.4 kg tandem-shaped charge warhead. A precursor warhead detonates any explosive reactive armor and the primary warhead penetrates the base armor. It can penetrate 800 mm of steel armor. So the Javelin is capable of destroying any existing main battle tank in the world. Maximum firing range of the Javelin is 2500 m Recently the manufacturer developed a version of the Javelin with a range of 4750 m There is a FGM 148F version, fitted with multi-purpose warhead. It is much more effective against enemy personnel, weapon crews, buildings, and lightly armored or unarmored vehicles. This missile is still lethal against tanks. Number 3 Spike The Spike LR-2 is a recent fifth-generation anti-tank guided missile. 
It was developed in Israel. It is a new generation of the original Spike LR, which was a huge success and was exported to around 30 countries, including most members of the NATO. The new LR2 has even longer range and increased armor penetration. It was designed for use by the infantry and light combat vehicles. This missile can be also used by helicopters and watercraft. Since its introduction the Spike LR2 was gaining orders. In 2017 this missile was first ordered by the Israel Defense Forces. So far the Spike LR2 was also selected by Australia, Estonia, Germany, Latvia, and Slovakia, though it is likely that other countries will also order this missile. The Spike LR2 is being licensed produced by Eurospike in Germany. This missile has a range of up to 5.5 kilometers. When fired from helicopter this missile has a range up to 10 kilometers using a wireless data link. The Spike LR2 uses infrared imaging guidance. It has a new infrared seeker with a smart target tracker and artificial intelligence features. It was designed to overcome active protection systems. This missile can attack targets from the top. It can be launched in fire and forget mode, as well as fire observe and update mode. Alternatively it can be launched in no line of sight and use third-party target designation using the wireless data link. It has a tandem-shaped charge warhead and penetrates 900 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. This missile is also available with a multi-purpose blast warhead which is effective against buildings, bunkers, and field fortifications. It can breach up to 200 mm of reinforced concrete and detonate within the structure. This multi-purpose warhead is also effective against lightly armored vehicles. The Spike LR2 missile is compatible with launchers of the original Spike LR. Number 2 Omtas The Omtas, also known as the Mizraco, is the first man-portable medium-range anti-armor missile developed in Turkey. Development of this missile began in 2010. Although its exact origins are unknown, on paper it qualifies as a fourth-generation anti-tank guided missile endowed with range, precision, and lethality. Its appearance, however, seems to have been influenced by missiles like the US. TOW-2B and the Israeli Spike MR it turned out to be an extremely advanced weapon. The Omtas was designed to knock out main battle tanks with explosive reactive armor. It can travel a distance of 4000 meters and penetrates around 1000 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. This missile has infrared guidance. It can be launched in fire and forget mode, as well as in fire and update mode. Also it has direct and top attack modes. The RF data link between the launcher and the missile provides the user with operational flexibility. The missile can be used in fire and forget or fire and update modes, and offers both lock-on before launch or lock-on after launch capabilities. With its precision guidance capability and its armor-piercing tandem warhead, Omtas ensures effective strikes against armored threats. Number 1 MMP The MMP is a recent French fifth-generation anti-tank guided missile. It was developed to meet requirement of the French Army and was first introduced in 2012. Deliveries to the French Army commenced in 2017. The MMP is a multi-purpose missile. It can defeat anything from tanks to bunkers and hostile troops in buildings. This missile has a range of 4 kilometers. The MMP offers non-line of sight launch for both extreme ranges and obscured targets. It has a tandem-shaped charge warhead and penetrates 1000 mm of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. It is a top attack system with fire and forget capability. However the operator can also guide the missile to its target manually. This anti-tank missile is suited for indoor launches. The MMP follows a convenient setup consisting of a launch tube, a portable fire control system slash guidance unit with day and night optics, and a collapsible tripod mount. Upon detonation, 
The warhead also sprays 1,500 tungsten splinters, effective against personnel out to 15 meters. And the missile has a range of 4,000 meters based on a French requirement, but in May 2018 two test firings were able to hit targets at 5,000 meters. The missile Moyen Porti or MMP by MBDA is marketed as a fifth-generation anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, and the first in a planned family of missiles. That's all we can share with you today, don't forget to get access to our other videos. As always thanks for watching and see you in the next video.